My name is uh, Josina. Um, I'm a survivor of violence. A um, few months ago, in less than 30 seconds, I received uh, blows to my face and to my head that have changed uh, my life together, all together, right there and then. Um, first, it changed me emotionally, made me experience fear in a way that I had never experienced before. Secondly, it blinded me um, on my right eye for the rest of my life. Um, I need to, to, I have to say that um, in those 30 seconds, um, I made significant options. I first decided that I was going to survive. I was going to get out of the car and scream for help. I decided that I was going to focus on myself, but I would speak out. I feel that um, the option to be quiet and not to share what had happened to me um, was just not available. Um, there were terrifying moments, um, and I have to thank you, Shalene, for being able to get into the body of a woman, into the body of a person that experiences it and to have expressed it so, so deeply, so, so well, <laughs> actually, don't even know how to describe that. Um, the fear, you know, um, the isolation at that time. Um, I remember running down a road and screaming for help. I screamed in Portuguese, I screamed in English, I, I screamed in every language, say, help, help. Um, and no one, no one helped. No one helped. Um, I was taken to the hospital after that. Um, but it's, um, you know, the fear, the isolation is something that uh, is always there. It's so tangible. Um, life takes a completely different uh, meaning. But look, life is positive. Um, we hang on to it and we transform our experiences. I have been able to uh, start a process of healing, start in transforming my own experience and sharing my story um, and in it allowing other women, other survivors of violence to, to share, to feel that uh, they belong, they are understood, their life, the experience can be validated, their life is valued, um, they can go through a process of healing that allows them to restore all the humiliation and the degradation that one is put through.